Today we have a physics question, and in this question we will be finding the pressure force acting on this trapezoidal dam right here. So we, basically what we have is we have a wall in the shape of a trapezoid, and it is submerged in water. So we have a pressure distribution along the face of this trapezoid. We know that the force is equal to pressure times area. However, since the depth changes, we know that the pressure distribution changes. So instead, we're going to express this integral, not like this, but as an integral of P dA over the entire area of the trapezoid. And from physics, we know that P is equal to rho GH. So now let's find an expression for dA, and since any band along this trapezoid is at constant depth, we know that it has a constant pressure. And we can express an arbitrary horizontal band as having a thickness, dH, and a width of W. So we can say that dA is equal to W dH, and therefore our integral becomes the integral over the area times rho gh w dh. But now we need to find an expression for w because w changes as the depth increases. But we can see that when, we, when we're at the top, the width of this is 3600, and when we are at the bottom, it is 3000, and this width changes linearly because we're changing at a constant rate. So we know that w of zero, the width at zero depth, is equal to 3600. And we know that the width at depth of a 100 meters is equal to 3,000. Therefore, we can calculate the slope or the, the rate of change of the width of this trapezoid, which is just going to be 3,000, the final width, minus 3,600, the initial width, over the final depth, which is 100, minus the initial depth, which is 0. And this is equal to negative 6. So that means we can express the width as a function of depth, which starts at 3600 and changes by 6h. And we can double check that this equation is valid by plugging in w of 100. And when we plug in w of 100, we get 3600 minus 600, which equals 3000, which is the bottom dimension. So we're good. So we come back here and we replace w with w of h. So we get rho g h times 3600 minus 6 h d h. And since we're integrating over the total depth, this depth ranges from 0 to 100 meters. So here is our definite integral. And all I have to do now is to evaluate it. So let's assume that rho of water is equal to 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And let's assume that G is taken to be 9.8 meters per second squared. Then we can plug in values into this integral and we get integral from zero to 100 of 9,800 times 3,600 H minus 6 H squared DH. And we can bring this constant out in front and just integrate this portion. So let's go ahead and do that. So we get this is equal to 9800 times 3600 h squared over 2 minus 6 h cubed over 3. And this is all evaluated at 0 to 100. So when we plug in 100, we get 9800 times 3600 times 100 squared over 2 minus 6 times 100 cubed over 3. And then we subtract when we plug in 0. And when we plug in 0, we get 0. So this comes out to be 1.6 times 10 to the 11th newtons. So our total force due to pressure is 1.6 e to the 11 newtons.